Okay, to get to the clearing, you have to walk about two kilometers from where you leave your vehicle. And it's a wonderful walk because you're on these huge elephant trails that have probably been there for hundreds of years. And you cross a small river and you walk through the forest and you're on these huge trails and the sky begins to lighten and you see that the trees are ending and in front of you are 40 to 100 elephants. Forest elephants differ markedly from savanna elephants. They're smaller in stature. I actually think they're prettier, but that's my personal prejudice. And they spread seeds in their dung. So they pass through the gut of an elephant and then they germinate. But if those elephants disappear, then many of these species won't be germinated, so it'll be the end of a lot of forest trees. This is Leanne too, and two of her calves. I've known her since she was also born, and she's had three calves since I've known her. And her latest one is now take a, taking a nap, very tired. Well, one of the most common sounds they make is this contact rumble. It sounds like a big cat purring. It's very calming. And that's basically, here I am, where are you, or I'm going. And it's mostly females that do this, because females, like humans, they, they do most of the talking. This is Kingtail, too, and her youngest calf. She's trying to keep the calf out of the hole while she gets the mineral-rich water. But the calf is very persistent. so much for motherly love. And they have very strong family relationships. And they get very excited when they, they see family members that they haven't seen for a while. And the way they identify each other's voices, even within 60 elephants in the bai, you'll see somebody recognizes someone, they go running across the bai a couple hundred meters and meet up and greet. And it's very emotional. And this is a typical day. It's not the exception. Forest elephants have a different type of ivory. Their ivory is harder and denser, and it's probably because of their diet. So because their ivory is denser, artisans prefer it. They can carve it much more intricately. Well, I know particular elephant groups. Certain individuals have disappeared. I have assumed they are poached. And the behavior in some of these groups is very cautious. They come into the clearing, they're sort of looking over their shoulder. They've definitely been traumatized, and they've probably seen family members killed. But I mean, people say, oh, they don't have emotions. Of course they have emotions. Let's not be foolish. A mammal that has a brain that big and is so conscious of family ties, they miss family members that are, have been killed. And I've seen a lot of elephant carcasses, and I've seen what people do to animals and also to people. So the most difficult part for me is wondering who was killed. Because a lot of these individuals are, I don't want to say it, but like my family, you know, I know the groups. I've seen them have their calves. I've known some of these mothers since they were babies and now they have their own families. Between the poaching and the destruction of elephant habitat, these animals are doomed unless we move fast. <laughs>